in terms of coming through Omicron, uh, the Dutch economy has been extremely resilient, and actually our customer base, you know, helped helped with the uh, support of the government, has managed to see it through. And you can actually see that also in terms of our loan loss provisioning through the year. Um, it's actually been extremely low. So I, I do believe that we are going to start seeing some tailwinds now. I mean, again, what we're seeing, it, you've, you've seen this 15% growth in terms of our fee income uh, quarter on quarter. We expect uh, the uh, card fees, both sort of locally as well as uh, internationally, to get some tailwind. And you've also seen that we've had some pretty good commercial growth in our corporate loan book in the last quarter, where we uh, printed about 4.7 billion of new loans. So, yes, there is definitely some life. The inflation rate in the Netherlands is running well ahead of the uh, Eurozone average at the moment, which is, I guess, why Class Not uh, stepped forward and was the first um, uh, voting member to basically say we need an interest rate hike in 2022. Given the decline in uh, net interest income that you've witnessed over the quarter and the last year, I presume you'd fully support that. I think we have to be a bit careful here with, uh, with uh, interest rate hikes and the timing of those. I mean, for sure, I would welcome an increase in interest rates in terms of helping support the, uh, the banking industry and certainly our NII. But again here, in terms of where is the inflation coming from that we are trying to fight and will the interest rate uh, hike in Europe actually help that um, in terms of it coming potentially from sort of supply chain constraints or, or coming out of uh, imported inflation on, on energy prices. We need to be careful that if we start raising interest rates, we don't actually start undermining growth. So I think this is something we need to watch quite carefully. Own view is a little bit that, um, yes, we are seeing a, a sort of peak in the inflation rate now in the early part of the year, but I do still expect that to come back down towards the end of the year. Lars, as you point to uh, some concerns then about the uh, growth profile, if we do get moves on the deposit rate from the ECB, where would it hit in your book? I know that uh, you've had this deposit margin squeeze the pressure on that side of the business, but are you saying that there could be ramifications where corporate loans and mortgages are hit if we see a move on that deposit rate? Well, we'd certainly, in terms of on the uh, deposit side, we would certainly um, start seeing a better margin uh, being produced. We do still have quite a lot of our book on negative rates. So, you know, that would in the end start moving up and we would potentially see some squeeze on income there. In terms of the uh, corporate loan book and mortgages, um, you know, it's, it's much more not that necessarily margins will be that squeeze, but uh, there could be a potential in terms of volume and people, you know, investing where we saw some appetite returning at the tail end of last year. We really don't want to start undermining that appetite for growth. You know, both short-term capital drawdowns as well as um, positioning money for longer-term investments.